this company. I can, see, this company. I can see how twisted you are as a bucket. You'll be a good interviewer because <laughs> you, you, you're hitting on all the things that I don't want to even discuss. <laughs> but, but I can see that, right? Um, we're a community that helps each other, you know. Um, everybody knows each other. I normally say welcome to Sunny Malinhead, but we, we, for health and safety reasons, we've put a damp into the day. It's through here now. This is the oldest um, Coast Guard in the world. There's two schools in this area. There's four pubs in this area. Um, we have a community centre. Um, we have one or two small cafes. We're, we're small, um, and most, although we get people who come to live here, um, for most of us, we're indigenous. We've been here a lifetime. You could end up in BBC gear, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we know and we care for each other. Um, and we disagree with each other. See, the thing is, Cedric. Um, so that's our community. So it was established through the church, was it? This, this, is, this was part of the Catholic church, this was the community hall, or the, the parish hall, um, in 1912. And then um, there was a Father Chesney came here and he put the extension on in 1977. Um, I'd have been a very young cub at that stage, and at that time we'd, we'd done sponsored walks, we'd done all 24-hour footballs, anything to make a pound in MDs. Um, funding from, the, I think it was the International Fund from Ireland, and to put on the creche, the play school, everything in that community. Community, it costs money. Mm -hmm. Like um, So in 2010, this, this building was in debt to 270,000. At the moment, it's down now to 52,000 thanks to massive fundraising from a small amount of people. Um, and hopefully we'll get it, you know, get it finished off, get the debt repaid. Um, but uh, we're, we're, we have a lot of work to do yet, you know? Do, do you want to go in and round, and round the centre? Yes, please, that'd be great. Right. So, uh, perfect. This is the heart of our community. Mm -hmm. this, this is our community hall. Um, and this is where, at the moment, our youth club is involved. If we have any after school, they, they play in here. Um, but. Since 2010, um, we, we've built on extra um, facilities on this hill. So we'll give you a quick scoot around that, give you an idea. We're doing a quick promo, it's fine. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. We're doing um, a, it's a long story, I'll tell you more. Right. Salmon used to be drift net fishing years ago here. There used to be 40 boats based at the at the pier. It was all small industries. Every family had their own boat type of thing and they fished salmon for a six to eight week season. And that was the that was the cream of their living that kept that allowed them to stay on the land and stay locally and stay here for the rest of their the year. European government have banned um, drift net fishing. So there's no salmon fishing here now. So it's only crab and lobster we fish for off here. And incidentally, Malinhead Pier is the biggest crab fishery in Europe. Oh, Hannah, yay! We have also Forward Emphasis, which is a Belfast-based company who does a call centre. And they have 200 people employed just up the road, in, which used to be a fertile loom factory. It'd be better to come back here tomorrow morning and film it. Okay. And because this car park is full to the neck. Do you know? And um, what is this? This is the call centre? This is the call centre. Why do you film inside a car? Is that okay? Is that just or what? I, I, you know, I, I, it's totally fine. At the, at the moment, visitors to Malhead, according to Falch Ireland, spend 22 to 24 minutes on average. We need to lengthen that stay. And by lengthening that stay, if we can create a visitor attraction that people want to come to and provide not just toilets, we provide information, education. Off Malin Head, there's, there's more wrecks than anywhere else in the world. U-boats, liners, and we want to digitally enhance them and put them into our room, right? So that people can interact and can see and, you know, feel nearly, see what, what's under the water. We, we could also have an educational centre from the bird life, the wildlife, which half the world's population of Baskin Sharks past Malin Head. 
you know, you have minky whale out there, you have dolphins, abundance of them. You know, and you could come to Malhead and not see them on an A day, whereas if you can come to a visitor centre, that in an educational centre you can learn about them and learn about their and if we can get you to stay an extra two or three hours, then you will you will not be able to move back to Dublin right away. You'll have to stay locally. Even and when I say locally, I mean any show, I mean Derry, you know, the northwest. Rather, you know, you've got to you, by creating something at Malhead, we can make the north, you know, northwest a destination. We can see numbers growing. Like one day there last week, there were six buses parked outside one of the local pubs, which is unheard of ten years ago. We're now in the digital means. Everybody now who comes to Malhead is an ambassador for Malhead because they take photos, they Snapchat it, and now people worldwide have seen the beauty of this area. And I, that's that's my belief. And my belief. That's how Disney learned. My God. This is good. Do you know what I mean? We have to learn from what other people got wrong and we've got to learn from what other areas have got right.